da, 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 da. Uh, uh. let the gang get in the building. I don't know what the fuck going down with my computer, but I definitely got to fuck with y'all comments on uh on this shit. Yuck Mouth TV, subscribe to your motherfucking guy. We back in this motherfucker for one more go-go, you dig? Just fresh off Smoke A Lot Radio, man. If you don't know, the new episode is up. Hit motherfucking Digital Soapbox Network. Hit motherfucking Radio.com. Hit the app, you know what I mean? Subscribe to motherfucking Digital Soapbox Network. And just subscribe to motherfucking Smoke A Lot Radio. New episode up right now, man. Period. Go check that thing out, man. Shout out to Squad, Simone Taylor. That's sexy, Simone. You dig? And my partner in grind, Kato Fonya. You know we always put on, man. We supposed to have motherfucking Freeway Rick tonight, man. I don't know y'all like, why this nigga all dressed up like that? I had to put my D-boy shit on, man. Fucking with Rick. You know what I mean? Freeway, I had to put on the 80s swag on their ass, man. You dig? Like a nigga at the round table, man, trying to buy 20 birds. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. But I had to dress accordingly, man, out of respect for uh, Freeway Rick. You know what I mean? He didn't make it. He couldn't make it. An emergency came up, so we're going to re-schedule the fucking interview. But uh, we always hold it down, man. I think our shit is so lit that we can't even fit interviews in. That's why we got Kato uh, tapping in with Kato, you know, the on-the-spot correspondent for Smoke Lab Radio who could pull up and do interviews on niggas. So we rarely able to do interviews, you dig? But let's do the tap in. You know what I mean? Let's do that motherfucking count. I mean, the motherfucking uh, roll call. Let's get the roll call going, man. Let's see who tapping in. Richmond tapping in. Birmingham, Alabama tapping in, man. Big up from Australia, mate. You dig? He said that chain is ill, AZ. Okay. I see y'all, uh, man. Yada, da. The one and only Yuck Mouth, Ohio in the building. I see you, my nigga. Australia. Me mates. My mates. Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> Rancho. The first time I heard of Rancho Cucamonga was in Friday, nigga. And after I heard that motherfucker, I've been there a thousand times since I lived in LA. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You dig? Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the motherfucking tap in. El Cerrito on the tap in, nigga. Okay, EPA on the tap in. I see you, nigga. I see you, nigga. San Diego on the tap in. Okay, Dago. Mm-hmm. Nigga said, what you think about J.P. Morgan with them bricks? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas crazy, man. Y'all crazy, man. The committee. Oh, Europe tapping in, man. Salute from overseas, my friend. Yeah. In the LBC. You know, I got my motherfucking uh, Royal Blunt Blue on. Long Beach Blue on. <laughs> Nipsey Hussle Blue on. Whatever you want to call it, man. You dig? Rest in peace, Nip, man. Dayton, Ohio in the building. Man, what's the name of my nigga, man? They called it. What they? What they called the? Uh, what they called my nigga? What's his name? Paycheck or it's my nigga from the uh, the Dayton? What they was called, man. God damn, the Dayton family, I think. My nigga was called Paycheck, I think. That was my nigga out there though. Mm hmm. Dating in the building, Virginia, man. Hey, man, Virginia in the building, man. I ain't know uh, Bill Collector was from Virginia, man. I'm a battle rap uh, extraordinaire. I love battle raps. I seen him and goddamn uh, T Rex them there come to blows <laughs> on their goddamn face off, man. <laughs> Shout out Battle Rap for keeping it interesting, man. But yeah, man, that boy, a uh, Bill Collector from Virginia, man. Y'all got some heat out there, man. <laughs> I think J. Cole from Virginia, Timberland, Missy, uh, fucking uh, Teddy Riley. Y'all got a shitload of motherfuckers from out there doing y'all thing, man. Shout out Virginia. Shout out to V. Yeah, dig. MC Breed is from Ohio, my nigga. Ain't from, yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, MC Breed from uh, uh, Flint, Michigan. You're right. I said Ohio, my nigga. Sometimes I'll be high. I think I said something the other day. What did that call, man? I, I just seen it, too. I said something the other day. I missed, said somebody named and kept it pushing. Sometimes I be fucked up and fucking up, man. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I was trying to say, nigga. Bear with me, man. Street nigga from the projects, man. You did. Straight it up, man. But y'all rock with me. I fuck with y'all. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for subscribing. You know what I mean? I do this shit for y'all to keep y'all entertained, to give y'all some game in y'all life. 
You know what I mean? And hopefully you can use it and apply it to your life, man. You know what I mean? Make it better, you know what I mean? And they can say, yep, keep Fresno in the building on the tap in, okay. Keep it D on Vlad TV. Yeah, I ain't get to see that, man. I seen him say something about uh I seen a speaking of Vlad, Vlad was up at the station today, man. Shout out uh Reggie White. It was on Gangster Chronicles today, man. Vlad got a fucking blonde mohawk, right? <laughs> Vlad got a blind high top fade, my nigga. nigga. <laughs> Shout out Vlad, though. Been uh, seeing him tonight. He ain't had no hard feelings. You know I've been talking shit about him a little off and on. Not too much. But a little, you know what I mean? Sometimes I throw him up. But at the end of the day, I always give him props. You know what I mean? Just the other day when I was saying, you ain't got to prove yourself, soldier boy, nigga. Vlad did a whole cartoon on your ass. So I stay tuned in with him regardless of how I feel about him pressing a line about criminal activity on just artists, musicians, shit, actors, actors. He do the same shit with everybody. I seen that nigga have some like mafia niggas that play mafia roles. Nigga on movies, nigga. He got the, all them up again. Quentin Tarantino's and nigga, what's the nigga name? Uh, to do all the scar, scar faces and shit like that, man. All them other actors, nigga, they talking all that gangster mob shit. So he gets every walk of life to talk that shit. It ain't just black people. So I respect him for that, period. So shout out Vlad, man. It's enough money for everybody, man, period. You know? I just mad that the nigga kept bringing niggas in to talk about my shit that we already talked about, bro. You did? But when y'all, the nation, y'all checked me. Y'all like, blood, you told him to go get blood. Absolutely. So how can I get mad? You did? Mm-hmm. He said Gucci Link 5. Appreciate that, bro. Good shit. You know what I mean? Good shit. Um topic for the night, man. Um, if you owe me, show me the money, my nigga. I need my money money. <laughs> you dig? So more of the story is, man. When a motherfucker is hurt, man, they need something, man, and nobody answering their phone calls, man. They finally hit you and you got the love in your heart. Like, man, you know what? I'ma help you out, my brother. You know what I mean? Help a motherfucker out. Everything good. You know, motherfucker still calling and shit. Everything cool. Once you make that one phone call, like, bro, is that, you got that? Oh, man, give me a little bit more time. Nigga, that phone stop ringing, nigga. That phone, the number changed, nigga. Nigga, stop hanging out. <laughs> nigga, relocate. Like, why when you give a nigga a loan to help a nigga out, he just relocate and don't want to pay you, my nigga? Like, it don't matter how good a nigga make it look. I need my money, money, my friend. You did. I need my mama. And nobody perfect. I had to find out the hard way from one of my homeboys who I looked at like he had a lot of money. And I can't be counting nobody pockets. But I'm like, this nigga ain't going to miss this. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. So I'm overseas. Not overseas. I'm um, on tour. And I think we in Denver. So we had some little bullshit ass. No disrespect to the LGBT, all the alphabet community. My uncle was gay. I ain't got none of, no problem with gay people. So it was a gay ass dude at the fucking front desk, man. He was being a bitch. He didn't want to check us in. This nigga taking about two hours to check us in. This is the last fucking room in the hotel. You know, this nigga procrastinates for about an hour or two until somebody walks in and he gives them our last room right in front of our face. We like, motherfucker, we've been here for two hours, man. We damn near jumped over the counter on the nigga, man. Period, man. We about to fuck him all the way over, nigga. It's like two, three in the morning, nigga. Period. About to fuck him all the way over. So not only did he sell our room, but he put a motherfucking hold on my credit card. So we out of town. I can't get to no Wells Fargo. There ain't no Wells Fargo out there. I don't think. Whatever. It wasn't popping. So I hit my nigga. I'm like, bro, just shoot me 150, bro, until the morning until they pull the shit off my car and I can go to the bank or whatever. You did? Shoot 150 so we get a tell. Brush out the 150 quick, man. Boom. Fast. Appreciate you. So I told him, man, I get back in the city, man. After this tour, I get back like in a month. But I'm going to be out there. I got a video shoot, man. Pull up. He's like, cool. I ain't tripping like that. Show sure enough, nigga. That video come. <laughs> that nigga was right there. Ah! With my 150. <laughs> and I didn't understand it because I was like, this nigga pressed me for this 150. He was on me that whole day. Like, you going to be there? What time you going to be there? Like, but... He, you know, you got to respect everybody's uh grind and everybody's, you know what I mean, hustle. You don't know what a motherfucker going through. You don't know a motherfucker bills or his overhead. 
Now, my partner that I'm talking about has an overhead. It's different from having bills. He has an overhead. He owns a restaurant. You know what I mean? You got to pay payroll for workers. You got to buy inventory. You got to pay for uh, commercial property, hella shit. So everything count when you have a overhead. You're not only paying your house bills, your mortgage and all that shit, your car note, but you have an overhead. You have businesses to fund too. So it's different when you have an overhead, but you're going to make it look good. Everybody's going to look great, period. It's going to look great like you don't need it, but you do need it because everything counts. So same with me. I gave a couple people loans, you know, back in the day when they needed it. And niggas and changed their numbers, you know what I mean? Did all types of shit. Niggas stunting on the ground, doing hella shit. And it's like, nigga look at you like, bro, you don't need it. You're doing good. No, I don't give a fuck how good I make this look. What I just said about my homeboy, I don't got bills, my nigga. I have an overhead with bills. It's a difference, my nigga. So I need all of my money, man, period. Don't take a loan if you can't pay it back, my nigga. Now, if you take a bank loan from the bank, nigga, you got to pay it back, bro. Or you ain't moving, period. So why, when you get a loan from your home, you think you just play hide and seek, musical chairs and shit, musical states, Hopping from state to state, phone to phone, and dodging a nigga like you robbed a nigga or something. Because that's what a motherfucker take it like. Did you rob me or did you take a loan, my nigga? Because now you ain't answering your phone. You ain't trying to pay a nigga back. Like, well, where we going with this, bruh? You dig? So, <laughs> if you take a loan, man, pay niggas back, man. And I don't give a fuck how good niggas make it look or how good you may think niggas. Man, get out of nigga pocket, man. If he gave it to you, give it back. That's it. Period. That's it, my nigga. I don't give a fuck how good or what a nigga rolling in, how many chains, how much shit he got on, how much money he spent at the club, how many bottles he buy. I don't give a fuck if you nigga loaned you $20. Get that nigga's $20 back. Period. Because when you needed it, he gave it to you. Period. You dig? And that's the lesson for the day, my nigga. Period, man. I need mine. <laughs> I need mine, man. There's a couple dudes out there delinquent you know what i mean they know who they are man don't think just because i look good i don't have an overhead nigga everything counts bro period man the motherfucker hit you and then say get at me man holler and then you holler they don't holler like come on man don't be playing with me my emotions playing with my money playing with my mind like that nigga because when you needed it i helped you bro so now I need mine back. And you ain't trying to help me. <laughs> I don't get it. So it is what it is, man. My partner. Nah, he, he's good. He ain't tripping on no $150. But everything count when you have an overhead, my nigga. Everything count. When you got bills and an overhead, nigga, that's double the bills. Or triple the bills, nigga, if you don't know. So, it's a difference from my overhead and just some bills, my nigga. Facts. You know? What else going down? I'm going to let y'all fuck with it. I'm going to let y'all fuck with it. And it's the principle, too. Because you'll fuck a nigga up over the principle. Like, come on, my nigga. I should be charging you interest. Because you, you playing with my mama, nigga. Now you owe me double. Or you owe extra half. Like, come on, man. You play too much. So... It's like niggas will take your kindness for a weakness until you got to fuck them up. And like, I ain't know. Her. Nah, nigga, give me my mama. Period. I had to learn this shit when I was little, bro. It's me in the spot. I'm in the Ville, right? I'm with my YGTO niggas, man. Period. Rest in peace, Red. So um, I'm in the Ville, and I got front of some work. And I'm stanging their ass on the dice, man. A nigga done washed me clean up about two, $300. I owed the nigga $200. That nigga's like, what's up with that money? <laughs> this is, I'm like, I'm doing my thing, man. I holler at you. You know, they DP'd a nigga and took that money. <laughs> nigga, ah, give me my money, nigga. The fuck you rolling dice and shit, nigga. Got my money in your hand talking about see me later, nigga. Yeah, nigga, ba 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 ba. Got jumped by my niggas, man. But playing with niggas' money, man. If a nigga give you a loan, nigga, get that money back. Period. Not like lumped up or nothing, but, you know, slammed and wrestled around and shit. You know how they do you. You know what I mean? Kicked on and shit. But yeah, man, I had to learn the hard way. This is like 12, nigga. 11 or 12, nigga. Ah, blah. Slammed me all on my back. Nigga, this is when the first time I ever got punched and lost my breath. Because a nigga punched me in my chest and my back at the same time. 
<laughs> bro, if you ever got punched in your back and your center flex, your center flex at the same time, nigga, you damn near feel like you got paralyzed. Nigga. Blah! Yeah. Nigga, I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, have you ever got punched in your chest and your back at the same time, nigga? Good luck. <laughs> Woke my lungs all the way up. <laughs> Woke my game up, nigga. Never took a loan again and then paid back instantly, nigga. <laughs> Stanging the ass on the dice. They was mad I killed them on the dice. They like, where my money at? I broke him. I broke him. I sent him to the shoebox. Like, nigga, give me my money. Nigga, my money right there. I ain't got to go to the shoebox. I'm like, hold on, nigga. I'm doing my thing. Bah, 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 bah. Blah. Boom. The two punches. Blah. The middle of the chest and the back. Owie. That hurt. Ah, cool. Woke my shit up. <laughs> Woke me up. 11 year old nigga. Ouch. <laughs> but more of the story. Nigga, pay nigga they mum mum before they had to go there. You dig? More of the story, man, because a nigga would go there, man. Over a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, whatever it may be. Niggas was doing this for the hundred dollars and two hundreds and shit. <laughs> Imagine what a nigga gonna do to you over some bandana santanas, bro. Quit playing with niggas' money, man. Try to get it right, man. Period. You did. Don't get punched in your back and your chest at the same time, bro, just to get for a nigga to get his money back. <laughs> That's the worst shit that could happen to you to get punched in your back and right. Bah! Ah! Nigga, you ain't never lost breath into that. <laughs> Woke my shit up, nigga. What? Ah, cool. <laughs> I said, I said the dude get knocked over $10, I bet. It's the principle. Like you said, it's the fucking principle because now you disrespecting me. Now you're playing with my gangster, my nigga. You dig? Now you're playing with my gangster. That's why I got double punched in the back and the chest. I was playing with my nigga gangster. I had his money in my hand and told him to wait. What the hell, nigga? Give him his money. And I had an extra hundred. I only owed the nigga 200. I had 300 in my hand. Why well, didn't just say, here's your money, nigga? I'm trying to say, hey, man, let me keep going. I'm trying to win some more money. Like, nah, nigga. Bye bye. Bye. Blah. Get this nigga his money. Quit playing. Yeah, I learned it the hard way, though, nigga. For real. Lucky I didn't get shot or stabbed, nigga. My niggas ain't with this shit, nigga. My niggas was stabbing dolphins, nigga, for spending $5. Nigga, you could use a dolphin, nigga, give you $5. You got five. Come here. Nigga, take you in the alley, nigga, give you a $5 bump. Bye. Stab you, nigga. Don't never come back over here with $5. Nigga, spread the word or you're going to get stabbed, nigga. Period. So niggas was stabbing niggas for dolphins. Was getting it. Don't never come spend five dollars in the six five bill. I don't know about the nine, but the five was stabbing niggas up for spending five dollars. You had five on it. You had five stabs in your gut on it, nigga. Period. So lucky I ain't get shot, nigga. Period. <laughs> Over that two hundred dollars. <laughs> My niggas was savages, nigga. What? You ain't heard, nigga. Nigga, that pay niggas they mom, mom, boy. A nigga think that because you in the industry that you don't need it. I need all my marbles, man. <laughs> I need all my marbles so I can still play. I need my marbles so I can play, bro. You got to pay to play. I need my marbles so I can play, man. I can't play marbles with no marbles, bro. You niggas all in the sand, little shit, in the play box, playing marbles and shit, and marbled out. I can't play marbles, nigga. And you stole my bag of marbles? Give me my bag of marbles back, bro. Period. There's gonna be some issues, nigga. Facts. Facts, man. Niggas play too much. Period. But when they needed it, like, bro, oh, oh, begging and shit. Yeah, man, you got it. No problem, nigga. The motherfucking tax guy come around on his taxes, nigga. Nigga disappear. Get little. Ah, cool. Yeah, man. Show me the money, man. Tom Cruise, man. <clears throat> Show me that man, man. Show me that man, man. Nigga, quit playing with niggas' money out there, man. Not advice to y'all, man. Cause like a nigga just said on here, man. Like the commit, like the uh, nation just said, man. He said he seen a nigga get slit, slit for ten dollars, slid on his shit for ten. Not punched, slid, nigga. Lay down, nigga. 
Lay down like a doormat, nigga. Doormat of the nigga. Over $10, bro. So it's serious, nigga. It's the principle, bro. And I suggest all you young millennial niggas, don't play with nobody money, man. That's the main thing that cross niggas is money and bitches, man. Don't play with a nigga bitch and don't play with nigga money, man. Them two will get you killed, bro. Period. Facts. Facts, facts, and more facts. If you got a crew of niggas and y'all got bitches and shit, fuck with other bitches. Don't be trying to go behind your nigga back and fuck with his bitch. That's going to get you shot and killed, nigga. If y'all rolling together and shit, y'all homeboys, don't be stealing money from niggas and taking loans and not paying it back. Because that could get you killed too. I don't give a fuck how close y'all are, nigga. Period. You dig? Tighten up. Tighten up. That tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. What else going down though, man? I'm done with that little lecture, man. You know? A couple people can link with out there. This is a message to you. You know who you are. I don't give a fuck. Give me my money, money, my friend. Please. Please, please, please. Please. Before we had to put the uh the APB out on you. Come on, man. We ain't doing that. Tell you. What else going on? Shout out to Slim for one it. Slim for one it posted today. That boy was clowning too. He said niggas must have bought their shells from Walmart. Like girl, woof. Hey, he ain't playing. You know what I mean? So shout out to Slim. You know what I mean? He pulling through. You know what I mean? It's a good look. You know, God is good. I don't think nobody deserved to be shot or going to jail, nigga. That's the worst two things ever. Shot and jail, nigga. Period. I ain't been both. Ain't cool. Period. At all, nigga. So, man, um, you know, shout out to Slim 400, man. Speed recovery, man. Get back in that booth, man. On some Pac shit. You know what I mean? On some 50 shit. And, you know what I mean? Kill their ass. Period. You know? You got Glock in Mississippi. Mississippi in the building. Tap in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we doing show. I just got off tour with Tila and uh, Fabo and shit. We went from uh, Washington to uh, fucking Seattle, man. We doing our thing. Yeah, speedy recovery, man. Definitely, man. You know? Slim got shot nine to ten times. Nobody knows the exact numbers, but it's something from nine to ten times. Some people saying nine. Some people saying ten. But whatever, for him to be standing after that, man, God is good, man, period, man. So shout out just to the whole um, YG clique, man. They going through a lot of shit right now. Now, pray for them brothers, man, you know. It's ugly out there, you dig? Straight up. Yeah, the 400 click, man. Shout out to them brothers, man. You know, they make power moves. They making L.A. look good. Definitely, they making power moves, hits, plaques. You know what I mean? They doing their thing, so shout out them brothers. You know, definitely, man. Especially Slim, man. I know Slim personally, and it felt like it, it hit home. You know what I mean? When when I heard about him. I don't know YG like that, but I know Slim. You know, we, didn't, we know we're cordial. It ain't like, that's my nigga like that, but... We cordial. We done met a few times, you know what I mean? So when that shit happened to him, I felt it, you know what I mean? Like, damn, nigga, I was just with, bro, because we got a song together with Gasco, with my company, with my uh, partners. They got their own company. They partnered up with me. So with my partners, man, so we did a song for their artist, Sick With It, with Slim on it. So we trying to prepare for the video, all types of shit. And this happened, not being like selfish, like about a video, but I'm just saying what was in the process wow this is going down you know what i mean who gives a fuck about a video his life is on the line that's all that count man him recovering and coming back fuck a video i'm just saying that we was in the process about to make that happen period so shout out to him you know what i mean i like the mac dre shout out you know what i mean the mac dre tattoos the whole shit with sugar wolf he did his thing man he really fuck with it man so shout out slim you did Flat out. What else going on out there, bro? Gasco, uh, do they got CBD? Nah, we ain't got CBD yet. We got uh, 
we got vape cartridges and shit. We got seeds. We got strands and shit. Um, but we definitely come with the CBD. Definitely, man. Look for that, man. Gas Coast CBD coming soon, man. Yeah, it is. Straight up, man. And since I'm in this Royal Blunt Blue, man, it's time to do a commercial break. Bye-bye. Stay loyal to Royal, man. You know what I mean? Royal Blunt, OGK. You know what I mean? OG Kush, Hemparello. These all natural. You know what I mean? No tobacco, Hemparello. Yeah, bitch. Yada da. Stay loyal to Royal. You see, I got the Royal Blunt Blue on. Blue on my G. Yeah, that commercial break. Got to shout out my sponsors, man. Bye-bye. Gas Co. Got to shout out my sponsors, man. Tonight's show is sponsored by that TKO. That's what we blowing on, man. That's that new wave. That's a new motherfucking strand. This shit is out of this world, Gerald. <laughs> this shit is out of this world. Get it. And we rock with it, baby. You know. Gas Co. The Vol C Bank. The Gang. Yada da. Yeah, buddy. And don't forget about my strand, that yuck my cool idol. Yeah, my shit moving. My shit is, is eh. Yeah, da, da. I think we coming for some more awards this year, man. We trying to get a Kushstock award, man. I think we it's too late to do the Kushstock this year. The one I just passed on 420. But I think this October thing, we're going to be in the mix, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Watch this, nigga. Shout out Dr. Caden, man. But yeah, we definitely coming for Kushstock. We need them trophies, man. We got the Tommy Chong boy, Blazers Cup. We got that. You know what I mean? Number one uh, Indica. I mean, hybrid. And we got the Indica for Be Real shit. So me and B won at that one. You yeah, know, number one booth. We won a booth. And me and B. Tropical, Tropical Lotto won. And my shit won. The cool Lotto, baby. So this trophy, award winning strands we got over here, man. You dig Exados, man. I don't know what the fuck niggas got on there. It's a lot of uh, Exados, my nigga. It's a difference. Big difference. Mm hmm. Exados! It's like you get a motherfucking Nissan and you get an exotic car, like a Ferrari. Yeah, we in Ferraris and Lambos with this. You know what I mean? We ain't riding around in the motherfucking Ford Taurus, man. A lot of niggas got Ford Taurus, man. Them niggas that Nissan Maximus, I mean, old school shit, man. And all that shit, Seve Capris and shit, man. Centras, all that, bro. We got Lambo smoke. <laughs> Ferrari smoke, Bentley smoke, bro. Exotic. Number the exotic, man. That's all I could compare it to with some cars, man. You, you can get the motherfucking Nissan or you get the Ferrari, man. It's on you, baby. Yeah, da da. Hmm? Yeah, Kushstock gonna be lit this year, man. Period. Shout out Dr. Caden for always keeping us on on top of that, like, it's, it's tradition for the loonies to always perform at the Kushstock, nigga. How you gonna do a, a, a fucking weed event without the weed national anthem? Five on it is the weed national anthem. I'm sorry. I mean, a lot of dudes got weed songs, and I love them. They dope as shit, and they monumental. But nothing is the weed national anthem but five on it. Period. Facts. So how you gonna have a weed event without the national anthem, which is five on it? You got to have us, baby. Period. And shout out Dr. Caden for always keeping us involved because he know you need the weed anthem. You need the national weed anthem of America, of the world, <laughs> which is I got five on it, my nigga. Period. Because, I mean, uh, what's the niggas called, man? We performed at uh, High Times one time, but it was at a booth. We performed at High Times a couple times, but that's when you could have the stage at your booth. You know what I mean? So, we performed there a few times, but yeah, high times, main stage, man. Holla. You need the National Weed Anthem, bro. You're bringing all these, you know, people that ain't even got weed songs performing. Bring the anthem. Ah, right, cool. You need the Weed Anthem of America. <laughs> the National Weed Anthem, bro. Period. Yeah, no. But yeah, man, life is good. God is good. Hold on, 29 minutes. Good stock on 420. It was on 420, yep, in LA. Yep, and they got another one in October. Just like Spice One, 187 proof. Man, go get that new Spice One album, man. Um, what is it called? OG, what is it called? Platinum Kush. No, Platinum OG. I think it's called Platinum OG. 
Yeah, platinum OG. <coughs> Go grab that. I'm on that thing, man. Support the OGs, man. Niggas still wiggling, man. Niggas look at us like niggas ain't doing nothing. Like, hey, man, you ain't on the radio, man. We still putting out independent shit, man. Shout out Tech Nine, man, the independent guru. You don't see, you hear like Tech Nine have made some super hits, like with Eminem and a couple people that have made the radio, but. 80% of Tech Nine's success or 90% of his shit just come from him having his core fan base and him supplying them with what they need, that music. He ain't tripping on the radio. He ain't tripping on worlds, all that shit. Nigga, he gets his fan base and they go. Period. He stay on tour. He get big money like the big artists. So, you know, some independent artists out there that's still doing their thing. You know what I mean? Nipsey was doing his thing before he signed to, uh, uh what was it, Atlantic? This last album, but... Independent guru. So there's people out there that still get it that's under the radar. I know I assume there's niggas down south that nobody know of is killing them. You know, shout out Sauce Walker. You know what I mean? This niggas that, you know, you can go platinum or gold just down there. You know what I mean? Or you can go platinum or gold out here just down here. So it's a lot of motherfuckers out there wiggling that everybody ain't paying attention to, but they popping in their city, they region. The area, you know what I mean? When you come to that area, nigga, what's on the radio is they artists, nigga, that's smashing. You're like, damn, who's this? And you get to tap in with the city. So it's definitely a lot of independent niggas like that that's doing their thing. So the um, independent shit ain't over, man, period. You know, so niggas like us, Spice One, E40 doing it on a whole nother level. But Sibo, you know what I mean? Niggas like us, you know what I mean? The, you know, we, we still do our thing, man, period. And put it up. Lil Flip, Trey, Trey doing, Trey killing him. You know what I mean? Devin the dude, Devin the dude, just put out some shit. So old school niggas still rocking. It's a few of us, you know? Me and P Rock working on that uh crack rock right now. You dig? You see, I got the official D Boy swag going on, man. Definitely, man. But yeah, we working, baby. We working. Me and Gatlin out about to drop next month. I know y'all been like, yo, it's been dry with the yuck music, man. Um, me and Gatlin shit dropping next month, August. Um, videos and everything, man. Go get that double dragon. That's the first one. Me and uh Philip Brome got one coming. That should drop after. And then uh me and Pete Rock shit should drop either at the end of the year. Or probably I say at the end of the year, definitely should drop by December at least. If not the top. But I want to work on this and take my time. I can knock this shit out in a week. But I want to do it precise and right. Get the right features and shit. Now, as far as my part, I could do it. But I want to have blockbuster niggas that rap features. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't going to be a, a just the homie album. This going to be, I'm getting them niggas that go. Period. That go. Crooked eye. Nigga, <laughs> I'm going to get my nigga from over there with Griselda and them. Nigga, 38 Special. You know what I mean? Razzcaz. You know what I mean? Aunt Pacino. Niggas that go, bro. Period. Niggas that go. I'm not playing with this. Niggas got to know how to rap to be on this album. So to get those type of features, man. You know what I mean? The boys that get down, man. You got to wait for it. They schedules and shit, whatever. But I'm going to make it happen. You know what I mean? Period. I'm going to make that shit happen. Hopefully, I can get a nigga like Exhibit on it. You know what I mean? He's a goer. You know what I mean? Corrupt is a goer. You know what I mean? Um, From NY. Um, on some goer shit, man. It's the Griselda niggas. Any of them niggas. Down south. Um, so. It's a lot of niggas out there too that go. But I just want to focus on the people who people respect for bars. More the story. You know what I mean? This is gonna be a bar album. This ain't gonna be an album. This a it's gonna be a bar album. Fuck with uh Pete Rock. It gotta be crack. Period. So uh my nigga Payne. My nigga uh RJ Payne. Definitely having Payne on the album. Um Ancasa. Ancasa definitely from Dipset gonna be on the album. You know, just tapping in with the niggas that got gas, man, period. Just gas niggas, man. Dumbass gas boys, period. You know? So we're going to make this shit dope, period. Because I'm gassing, period. Follow the leader. <laughs> I'm gassing. 
You know, niggas be on seeing me on these blogs and shit, talking my shit, making niggas laugh, but they forget I rap. <laughs> I really know how to rap, nigga. Period. So, you know, another chapter in the Yuck Mouth book, you know, catalog book. You know, but this is history. You know what I mean? Like, East Coast, West Coast connect at its finest, nigga. Pete rocking Yuck, nigga. Pete doing the beach, Yuck, nigga. <clears throat> Good luck, nigga. That's all I'm going to say, bro. That's all I'm going to say, nigga. He's an animal. Rawr, rawr, dungeon dragon. <laughs> ah, cool. Did the nigga just say, rawr, rawr, dungeon dragon. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, yeah, somebody said Twister got some new shit out. Okay. Don't let the industry uh silence X-rated. Shout out X-rated. What they do to him? Twister going hard. That's what's up. That's my nigga. Yeah, Nipsey Blue swag to the fullest, man. Rest in peace to the God. 1996 mixtape. <laughs> I fuck with you, but I need the bar guides. Period. I need the bar guides on this album, man. I ain't playing around, my nigga. You know, that's what people want. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of my albums, I look out for the homeboys. Like, hey, man, get on it. Get on it. Get on it. And, you know, and that's good. You know what I mean? But this album with Pete Rock, I can't do that. I want to have the hieroglyphics on there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, this bar guy, man, period. Niggas that really do this rap shit, man, period. Definitely my hieroglyphic brothers, though. You know what I mean? Me and A-plus was roommates and shit. I never did a song with them, though. Never. You know what I mean? Period. Like, we brothers, man. So I definitely want to have them on my album since they do the bar shit. Bar gods, you know what I mean? And so on and so on. So it's gonna be dope. This shit gonna be dope, but patience is a virtue, man. Let me crack it up. Let me <clears throat> cook it and get it right. You know what I mean? Right for y'all. Y'all I could put out some rush shit, microwave, or you wanna cook. You want cook dinner or you want microwave? You want microwave noodles or you want steak, lobsters, and, and motherfucking potatoes and salad. You know what I mean? The shit that come with it, shrimps and shit. You want that? Or you want motherfucking top ramen? I could get Top Ramen like next month, right now. You can whip it up quick. Or I could get that real shit. I could give you gumbo or Top Ramen. I think you niggas want the gumbo. So I'm going to give you the gumbo, my nigga. Period. We're going to do it. Shout out Pete Rock, the legendary man, for even working with a nigga. You dig? Straight up. Digital Underground, Abso. I could, man, somebody hook me with Abso. Period. These are people that I fuck with, like the people I named. Now, I love to have Abso. I love to have people like uh, fucking Kendrick, you know what I mean? Bar God, all these dope ass dudes with lyrics, bro. Period. Dope. I love, nigga. Period. But, you know, I fuck with people who fuck with me. You know, when you don't know people, it's kind of hard. It's like pulling a lion tooth. Don't get bit, nigga. Ah! Good luck, nigga. <laughs> pulling a lion tooth, nigga. Good luck, nigga. An alligator tooth. Put your head in that motherfucker. Bah! Nigga, good luck fucking with these industry niggas, man. So you got to fuck with people who fuck with you. You know what I mean? That you got to rapport with, that you rock with. So the people I name rock with me, and I rock with them. There ain't no wish list. So, you know? But definitely Crooked Eye, Razzcast. On the West, them is my barred niggas, man. Them two niggas go. Definitely gonna be on it. Corrupt, definitely gonna be on it. Them niggas go. Far as bars. Far as fucking bars, corrupt, go ape shit. Crooked eye, go ape shit. Razzcast, go ape shit. Definitely gonna be on the album. Facts. You know? I'm just saying, I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna have East Coast niggas and West Coast niggas, the bar boys. Killing it. Facts. This shit should be called bar boys. The Bar Boys. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Hey, we gotta have the boy. We gotta have the boys. The bar council. <laughs> gotta have the boy boys. None, you know. None less. And tech. We gotta have tech nine on it. Tech nine is a bar nigga too. We gotta have tech on that thing. You know. So yeah, it's it's gonna be complex. You know, what I mean, a couple of my homies gonna be on there. The niggas who got them bars. And Pacino tech. You know what I mean? Them boys who got them bars, you know, you probably get a 
few regime niggas on there. I ain't gonna name, you know what I mean? But I'll probably pull some shit out the box on y'all niggas. But definitely the mob gonna be on there. But the bar mob, nigga, the, the niggas in the mob that barred out, period. Oh, Planet Asia gonna be on the album too. I forgot about my nigga. Planet definitely on the album. You know Planet Asia, man. Me and him already connected. Cocaine on the album. Me and Cocaine already pre-recorded one. So cocaine on the album. I'm just blending it all out. It's going to be dope. It's going to be a mixture of everything together. Period. It's going to be hella fly. Davies. Okay. The Gat. Definitely the Gatlin. One of my regime niggas. Definitely going to be on the album. But uh, he said Fabulous and Davies. I love, but I ain't got no relationships with these guys. So that's it. I'm dealing with people who I rock with who going to send that shit. Now Fab, I'm going to have to send a bag. Davies, I'm going to have to send a bag because I don't know these guys. So... I just want to deal with people who, you know what I mean, fuck with me, period. So we're going to rock it like that. Feel the agony. That's my boy, boy. That's my guy, guy. If I could get Phil on this shit, I'd be, man. Phil is my nigga, man. Phil, Exhibit, Raz, nigga. Like, we all came, we all the class of 95, man. We the class of 95, how they had these motherfucking, uh, you know what I mean? These goddamn double XL class of this class. We the class of 95, man. Period. And we all came in the game together and we all was hanging out with each other in LA. The loonies, motherfucking exhibit, the alcoholics, nigga feel the agony. He's part of that whole clique. Razzcat, they all part of the whole clique. Safir, they all part of the whole clique, nigga. So, we been rocking with each other, bro. And to see my brothers doing their thing, nigga, it's ridiculous. Nigga, it's a blessing. Nigga, well deserved. We all grind, nigga, to make this shit happen. Period. And it pays off, you know? So shout out my brothers. E40, definitely have 40 on it. 40 is a bar guy. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. 40 got gas, nigga. Dumbass gas. And his dash is, is on some whole other shit. So definitely gonna have Fines, man. But Fines hella busy. But I know he gonna wanna be on this shit. Definitely, man. So... We're going to try to get Fonzarelli on this. Um, want to get... Uh, shit, man. Who I want it, man? Some real shit, man. Who is the new nigga that's just crazy right now, man? You got the... Who is the boy like, woo, nigga? <laughs> you know? Definitely gonna have Mr. Fab on there. Mr. Fab go crazy. That nigga's a bar guy, Bay Area bar guy. And that nigga make platinum hooks. Triple threat. So definitely gotta have Fab on there. Um, my outlaw niggas. Definitely having Young Noble. Edi Ami on that bitch. Got to. Gotta have the outlaws. Them niggas bar guys. Period. Sebo. Definitely gotta have my nigga Sebo on there, bar guy. So we're going to get it together, man. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a West Coast, East Coast album all in one, nigga. Watch this. It's going to be dope as shit. Watch how I gumbo this up, nigga. Thought the abolition was dope. Watch how I blend this, nigga. Blending. You know, we working, man. How you bum niggas out there twerking and jerking, my nigga? You know? <sighs> man, shit. Mmm. If I get Brother Lynch on that bitch, it's going to be on the song with Tech 9 definitely. So Brother Lynch, that's my nigga too. Sugar Free. Ah, I can do Sugar Free. Damn, y'all bringing the whole... Nigga, this, this album going to have a million niggas on every song, bro. Period. The way y'all thought, Red Man got to have a man on there. Got to have Reggie. No, I forgot about Reggie. I got to have Reggie. That's my guy. Definitely Reggie from the Brick City gonna be on that bitch, man. Zero, Trey. Ah, oh, man, this gonna be a night. This shit gonna be crazy, man. Y'all bringing up the whole niggas I forgot. Wow, man. This gonna be crazy, man. Zero, of course, man. Of course, bro. DJ Quick, I don't know if he wanna flip some bars with a nigga. <laughs> I don't think he, you know what I mean? But I fuck with Quick. He said, Keith married. That's my nigga too, man. Shout out Keith. Devin and the dude, definitely, man. Um, Rico, hook that up, man. We done been through that one before, man. I don't know, man. It's like 
besides zero and Trey the Truth. All the other niggas I get at from rap a lot be like, nigga, I need some more money. When I used to get verses on the trade, you know what I mean? So Devin the Dude on some I Need Some Money shit, Scarface on I Need Some Money shit, you know, so. But I call Zero, I call Trey the Truth, and they gonna shoot it fast, man. So shout out my niggas that hold me down. But, you know, a lot of people from rap a lot. I don't know if a word got put on me. I don't know what the fuck happened. I ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. But when it come to Devin the Dude, Devin want me to pay, which he's well worth any money. Um, Scarface, definitely well worth any money. I ain't trying to devalue these brothers. But what happened from us swapping out versus getting published and this shit, being on rap a lot to boom, right now, we ain't on rap a lot. We all just doing our own thing. And it's like, hey, nigga, fuck that. No more free verses. I mean, not free, but no more swaps. Hey, I get it. So uh yeah, we're gonna we we we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's like this when you're putting up your own money, man. You want some love. That's it. When you're independent, you want some love. Now, if I have a budget, if I'm signed to Atlantic, if I'm signed to you nigga know, Universal or whatever, Epic, I have a budget, man. Whatever you want, nigga. Ah, 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 ah. Whatever you want, nigga. Ah, ah, ah. But when you know a nigga coming out of his own pocket, spending his own money, money my nigga has some love. Period. And that's how people work, man. When they know that you're doing it by yourself. I got a big ass budget. I'm trying to get free verses. I want us all to get paid. The label going to pay. I ain't got to come out of my pocket, take food out of my kid's mouth to, you know what I mean? Uh, and to pay you, nigga, the label. I got a budget. Nigga, get what you want. Producer, get what you want. Everybody get what they need. But when a nigga doing this thing by itself, have some love, man. That's all I'm saying, my nigga, period. Flat out, because when you by yourself, you want niggas that are the big boys too. You want a free Jay Z verse. Jay Z could charge you every bit of a half a million to a million or a quarter million or a hundred thousand, whatever he may charge you. Because you Scarface, Jay Z gonna alley oop that nigga just bust the publishing down. So it's like, come on, man, you independent. So it's like, at the end of the day, bro, this show, you know, we gotta work with each other, man, to help each other, man. Independent or major, bro. When we major, we gonna bust it down. When we independent, we going to still do the independent shit and bust it down. That's publishing royalties, all the other shit that come with it. Pick show money, merch, whatever come with the shit. But, you know, we got to work with each other, my nigga, instead of trying to work against each other. That's the only thing I didn't like, you know, with them two situations, man. But, you know, other dudes who work with me, you know what I mean? I had a situation where one of my, I ain't going to, I'm going to say a producer, um, gave me some beats and shit, you know, and I use them for my podcast and shit. And, um, you know, it's like a motherfucker saying, uh, I don't know, but just basically don't appreciate me. You know what I mean? Using the beats or whatever. I ain't had to do that. I ain't do that. I ain't like, damn, bro. I get free beats and I'm paying you. Like people send me free beats. Now it ain't free because you got to do the publishing splits. You get still get paid. But far as advanced. I get free beats for placements all motherfucking day. I ain't got to buy a beat in my life, period. So for me to be paying for a motherfucking beat, bro, appreciate it. No beats are for free. We all break down the back and we all break down the publishing. Nothing's ever for free. I'm talking about an advance. Now, I get top producers without giving an advance. I'm doing a whole album with Pete Rock. I ain't gave him a... He gets probably... 15, 20, 30, depending on what, what he dealing with, a beat. He ain't said, bro, you know I need 30 for that beat, 20 for this beat, 15, 10 for that. He ain't say shit like that. So how can an independent producer that I'm paying, I paid you, act like the money I'm paying you ain't shit? Oh, man, nigga, I told the nigga I ain't want him to use my beats. And he still said, please, please. Like, I don't got to use your beats, nigga. I got it. Anyway, man, people don't appreciate when you bring shit to the table, man. That's all I'm going to say. So, at the end of the day, I ain't never had to pay for a beat. But when I had big budgets, and we pay for it, period. But when you're doing this shit independent, man, people trying to get placed, people trying to get on. 
Period. What's teamwork? Make the dream work, man. If motherfuckers don't see that, then fuck you. Period. You don't need to be on my album. Facts. Mike Dean. Mike Dean, my dude. But Mike Dean got Hollywood, man. Mike Dean has been out here, and I've been trying to just pull up and smoke with the nigga. Now, he's hanging with all my people. Not my people like that, but, you know, affiliates and people that I know that fuck with, you know. He's getting, you know, his smoke from them. It's like, you fuck with my people, bro. That smoke coming from my camp, my nigga. My people, that coming from niggas I know, bro. And you acting like they the niggas and I'm your boy and we done put plaques on the wall and shit. Like, come on, Dean. I don't want nothing from I want to beat. I don't want no shit from Kanye. I don't want no shit from Travis, whatever you got. Don't even bring me around that shit. I want to pull up on you. Smoke with you, show you what I got. Do this culado. Let's do this be real trapolado. Let's do this Demrick gas lotto. Let's do this motherfucking TKO. I just want to just, you know, show you this exotic strands and shit and then keep it moving. We are smoke buddies. You know what I mean? And we make good music together. That's it. I don't want to, I don't eat shit. I'm good, bro. But you acting like a nigga gonna come up there and hey, hey, mate, hey, hey, I need, I need, I need. I don't need shit, bro. Period. How cool. I Gucci, bro. Period. You was my smoke buddy in Houston. I just want to stunt, smoke some of these good exotics with you, put something on you, give you something. You know what I mean? To, you know what I mean? Get your head right while you producing for other niggas. You know, Travis, hey, while you produce for, boom, here, here's some head right, nigga. Bow, 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 bow. I'm trying to drop a box on you, bruh, and tell me how you like it. I don't want shit from you, Mike D. Period. You done did so much for me, bruh. You got this on my motherfucking wall. The least I could do is drop some weed off to you, nigga. The least I could do. Bro, you got, hold on, man. You got this shit on my wall, bro. That's all produced by Mike Dean and Tom Capone, bro. The least I could do is drop a bag off to you to make sure you right out here in L.A., nigga. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. Just show my appreciation. I don't need no beats. I don't need no Kanye verse. None of that shit, bro. I don't even rap like that. <laughs> I don't do that type of music. I don't do auto-tune. None of that shit, bro. I still rap like it's the 90s, nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm the Tone Capone, too. I want to pull up on Tone and drop him off a bag of this exotic shit. But Tone, me and him, like, in contact. You know what I mean? But Mike Dean acting like he a new nigga. So it is what it is. You know, salute to him and all his success, though. Period. It is what it is, you know. Yeah, no. Shout out uh, J. Prince Jr. for that mop tie piece. Goddamn Johnny Dang. That shit transformed in three. I ain't woof. Johnny over there going crazy, nigga. J. Prince Jr., nigga. That nigga came with that boy. <coughs> the Autobot, nigga. That shit turned to a hand and turned to a chain and flipped and, and had the boy in the middle. Come on, man. That motherfucker transformed three times. Bumblebee. Roll out. <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> Straight up, man. Yeah, Mike dope as fuck, man. Richie Rich. Gotta have a... Man, listen, man. We can go on and on and fucking on. On, bro. I know too many gas guys out here, man. Period. All my niggas is gas. All my niggas do they want to. Period. So I get, you know, still sharp and still, man. I want to be around the niggas that gas because it make me better. It made me not take a break out here. You can't take a break. You bet not. <laughs> you bet not, nigga. Facts. Aunt Banks. You know what? I ain't never got a beat from Aunt Banks, man. We just did Aunt Banks' birthday, man. Um, I just hooked him and Sebo up to do an album. They doing some shit together. But, man, man, man. And Banks gave Drew his first. And Banks them that did Drew whole first album. Besides Ice Cream Man, Rig Up, Rescue 911, and probably one more song. But Ant Banks did like 80% of that album in Dangerous Studios. So we was working with Too Short. You know, even though it was the rap battle and all that, we did Drew that whole album in Dangerous Studios. You know what I mean? In West Oakland. You know what I mean? So, we still was family and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, shout out Ed Banks, man. I need some heat, nigga. You ain't never did a song for the loonies, nigga. We need that. Oh, yuck. 
We need that, Banks. Good one, committee. I mean, good one, nation. Good one. Yeah, man. And I love it. <laughs> mess. Got to get the mess on there, man. You know, when everybody turn their back on niggas, man, I don't, I can't rock like that, man. He's like, he do this, he do that, he did this. Like, man, I don't care. I don't care. That's my nigga, man. Period. So a nigga cross me, man, I ain't, I, so I deal with people personally. You know what I mean? Period. Your rapport that you got with me is what your scoreboard is. Now, what your scoreboard is with somebody else, man, that's y'all, that's y'all game. But if your game is good with me, and we winning games and everything is straight across the board, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about you until you fuck the game up with me. Then it's like, hey, man. Boom, flag on the field, bro. Foul. <laughs> like, you know, you got to check shit and nip it in the bud. You know, eject it. Suspend it. Out the game. <laughs> All that. <laughs> you dig? So, mm-hmm. But definitely having Planet Asia. It's going to be a nice album. It's going to be dope as fuck. Y'all better go tap into Smoke Light Radio after this motherfucker, though. You feel me? Chameleon there. K motherfucking Rhino. Say that again. My nigga. Who is this? My nigga Realness Records. Say that it so the people in the fucking back can hear. K Rhino. Houston motherfucking Texas. Lord have mercy. Bar guy. Hey, man, go look him up. As soon as you get off this shit, go look up K Rhino. Go look up a song called, I think it's The Deception or whatever. It's just busting down all the Illuminati shit. This nigga is crazy. Very intelligent. Very gasolino. Man, good luck. That boy dope. Amp, my regime nigga, Amp, just had us all on the song together. Me, K Rhino, Amp, a few other brothers. But we was on Amp album together. Shout out Amp. But yeah, Amp got K Rhino on the song with me. Yeah, man. So we know about K, bro. Man, we fuck with K. That nigga dope. That nigga's dope. I just did uh, Recipes Bushwick Bill, but um, they was doing the tribute to Bushwick on the phone, and I was able to talk to Gangsta Nip. Nigga, that's one of my shit. I looked up the Gangsta Nip, Ghetto Boys, nigga Bushwick, nigga, all them brothers that rap a lot, man, growing up in the Ville because... Our big homie, Seagram, rest in peace, was signed to rap a lot. So the whole Ville was rap a lot. Period. Facts. Before I ever thought about rapping or was on rap a lot, Seagram planted that motherfucking flag, that rap a lot flag in Oak. Facts. Rest in Gangsta Pat. You dig? Facts. Real mob shit, man. Free WL, free Mooney, man. Free the Gov, nigga. My cousin, free the Gov, nigga. Now I ain't see Keith e. D interview, nigga. You want me to keep talking about Keith e. D, bro? That nigga wrote the book. Now you, you own me. DJ AG, man. I ain't watch it yet, bro. My bad. I'm surprised you haven't did a song with Snoop. That's coming. That's coming. That's coming. Wait for it. Yeah, free to go, nigga. Real my boss. Facts. <laughs> Hey, I feel it, man. I think, um, I just want niggas who gas, you know what I mean, period. I don't want, you know what I mean, no auto, no, no disrespect, you know what I mean, to the auto tune dudes who uh, harmonize. I just don't want that type of uh, spill on my shit, man. We gonna go, period. You know, I want to impress niggas like Nas, J. Cole, Kendrick, all the niggas at Griselda, all the niggas over there, um, Tech Nine. <laughs> Scott, I want to impress the boys, Jay Z. Um, you know, because I'm working with Pete Rock, it got to be impressionable. It can't be you no know, just microwave shit. It got to be fully gumbo cooked, you know, ready to serve. So we doing, we working. You know, I'm be cocky on this motherfucker. I love to have Mozzie on the same song with Filthy Rich and Lavish D. That'll be dope. All three of them niggas on the same song. But the politics that have to be straight. I wouldn't just. Hey, get a song from him, get a verse from him, get a verse from him, and cross them up like that. I never do that. So if the politics was straight, I'd get all them brothers on the album, period. Facts. On the P-Rock beat. They're going to have to gas it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Period. But 
I would do it. I had P Rock do a Bay, Bay Area type of beat. You know how to be versatile. So, yeah. But the politics got to be right. You know what I mean? I admire what all them three brothers is doing in the Bay right now. They turning up. Period. So salute to them. You know? Facts. Lock is a crazy one. That nigga say that again, man. He said locksmith. Lock been gassing niggas, man. Bay Area gas god, man. Locksmith, man. Been killing shit on the radio station. That nigga was battle rapping, killing niggas. Shout out Lock, man. For real. I see you, nigga. Don't think I don't see what's going on, nigga. Yeah, shout out to Mozzie. Mozzie dope as fuck, man. <laughs> Even though um, we bumped heads back in the day. Mainly, I did my thing. I shouldn't have ever spoke on whatever he was going through. So that was my fault. But um, niggas is past that shit. That shit is old school. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers, another day. You know what I mean? Period. J Hood, definitely on the album. Definitely Yano on the album. But saying all that to say this, we're going to have Mozzie on Smoke a lot radio, definitely. Filthy Rich, everybody. Lavish, everybody, man. Period. We want motherfuckers to talk their shit, but not on no internet shit. We want motherfuckers to talk about their accomplishments, man. Like, we damn near went on some troll shit on Smoke a lot radio tonight. And shout out DJ Fingers. He like, bro, like, we, we said our approach wasn't going to be like be that, like, for the clickbait. We're going to do it how we supposed to do it. He put his back in pocket, man. We don't do the clickbait shit. Like, hey, man, you was beefing with this nigga. You did this. He's like, no, nah, man. What you buy? You bought that apartment building, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk, we talking about niggas, like, real shit that they doing for the community, shit that they doing that people don't recognize the album. Because the motherfuckers do interviews and never get to promote their album. They promote everything but their album. So we just focus on different shit when we interview motherfuckers and our motherfucking camera dude boss he ain't no camera dude camera company you know what i mean dj fingers record company nigga dj uh fucking uh exhibit dj slash he got his own camera shit going so he worked with me on the side sometime but he was like bro remember we came we we ain't fucking with the bullshit the clickbait shit we ain't gonna do the little stupid ass shit and everybody trying to any interview you about your criminal past and all that stupid shit we gonna stick to the script to success of the artist, right? And the music and all that, which they really trying to promote. So if Mozzie was to come, if Filthy Rich was to come, if Lavis D was to come, we'll never mention they beef. We're going to talk about their success. You know what I mean? And talk about the shit that they doing instead of the fuck shit. You know what I mean? So that's what's going to be different about Smoke A Lot Radio, man. If you want the fuck shit, you'll go to other websites, other people who focus on just talking about fuck shit instead of actually promoting the artist. So... That's how we doing that smoke a lot radio. Yeah, dude. Different. You gotta be different. If you with the fuck shit, they do the fuck shit on every other uh blog channel or the website or TV channel that's on YouTube. Everybody with the fuck shit. Hey man, why you punch that guy in Louis Vuitton? Like, why you ain't talking about this nigga album? Why you ain't talking about what he just released, his video that he just released, this, that, and the third? We so focused on a nigga punching the nigga in the mall instead of his music. You know, just the fuck shit. So we ain't doing that. You know. <laughs> now I'm gonna look like Soldier Boy, man. A nigga said, make a song called I Need My Mun Mun. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, man, this is when y'all roll up, man. I'm about to go take a leaky, leaky right quick. You dig? This is when you roll up. I used to take you out to the bathroom. That's disrespectful. Roll up. Go get you a drink. I'll be right back. Yada da.
I need my mun mun. Hey, speaking of mun mun, man, it's so serious. You see 50 Cent going hard on all these niggas, but you owe me. I gave you this, nigga, where my money? Nigga, 50 going hard on niggas that owe him money. This nigga almost a billionaire. I know 50 got a soft three or four. Soft three. You know what I mean? Probably soft two and a half, three. Four. You know what I mean? With all the shit he got going. But God damn, bruh. This nigga tripping over 30,000. Bruh, give me my 30, I gave you. Nigga, give me my hundred and I gave you, bruh. I gave you 200, <laughs> Now you think a nigga that got 500 million, 400 million, 300 million ain't tripping on the motherfucking 200,000. Give me my mama, nigga. Show me the money, nigga. All that shit add up when you have overhead, man. That little two something that can handle the shit in Connecticut, man. You know how much it costs to run that house, nigga. Security, lawn, nigga. Landscaping, nigga. All of that, nigga. Maid service, nigga. Uh, fucking housekeeping, house cleaning, nigga. You know how much it takes. Nigga, that got a 30-room mansion, nigga. Swimming pool, nigga. All of that costs money, money. Give me that tool, nigga, that could run a Connecticut joint for a high second. <laughs> I don't even be there. <laughs> ah, cool. Just saying, nigga, 50 Cent talking about he need his money, money. It ain't just me, nigga. We all need our money, money. Nigga, 50 Cent, damn near billionaire, nigga. I need my money, money. <laughs> Fuck that. 50 fast for his money, I can ask for my money, nigga. Give me my money, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much power shit going on, BMF shit. Give me my money. <laughs> how cool. 50 driving all types of custom Louis Vuitton. Motherfucking Versace rap Lamborghinis and shit with the match of Versace shoes and different chains and shit, custom joints and shit going on, different. I this nigga buying Bentleys and nigga dip me buying a different new car. He trying to compete with Floyd right now. He buying a lot of shit load of cars and shit load of jewelry. You'll think that nigga ain't tripping on nothing he gave you. Psych! Ah, cool. Give me my mun mun. Matter of fact, G Unit ain't shit, man. They only performed two times without me. Like, damn, you just gonna slide the whole group, nigga? <laughs> nigga said G Unit. The fuck, 50? 50 ain't cool, my nigga. That nigga ain't cool, bro. Ah, cool. I don't know what type of cancer he is. He got to be born like damn near by the Gemini. Because he got Gemini type of tendencies, man. They cool with you, then they'd be the worst enemy, nigga, if you ever fought with it. They'd be the coolest nigga you ever know. But if you be an enemy, they'll never forget, and they will funk with you forever. Now, real cancers I know are, you know what I mean? They, they. They got more love. Cancers got love. You know what I mean? They more unified, like trying to put on for their crew. No matter what, nigga, if I get $1,000, nigga, we all got $100 a piece if it's 10 niggas. That's what a real cancer is. 50 is a Gemini, like a stingy type of cancer. Like, you you on the border, bro. You a Gemini, bro, because you like a two-faced type of nigga. Real cancers is the most illest motherfuckers to be friendship with. They solid. They ain't going to cross you until you cross them. And don't cross the cancer, my nigga. Period. Facts. But they down with you and they for the team. You did? So 50 was like that. He had that trade. I'm down. Nigga, what's we call Locked up in jail. Nigga, we going to hold the bag for him till he get out. Tony Yayo. Boom. He was for the team. Then he went to the Gemini shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Nigga, you cross me, nigga. Hey. So it is what it is, man. Shout out to 50, man. That nigga entertaining. Hella funny. Hella funny. Hella funny. And he on Buck Helmet. It's like, come on, my nigga. But he that petty. That nigga got hella money. Just fuck everybody. He talking about what, Tierra Marie on her helmet. I need my money money. <laughs> you don't give a fuck how much power shit he doing. Give me my money money. Y'all roll up with y'all smoking on, nigga. Y'all ain't smoking nothing. <laughs> The nigga said 50 middle name is Mun Mun now. I ain't fuck with y'all, bruh. Committee in the bill. He <laughs> said 50 name is Mun Mun. 50 Mun Mun sent. <laughs> I'm done. Y'all niggas are stupid. Nigga on that purple punch, okay. Mm hmm. Sunset Sherby, okay. You on some exoto right there, my nigga. I see it. I see it. Yeah, man. Uh, 
I ain't get to watch so Snowfall, the new episode. I'm about to get on that as soon as wifey wake up. And he said, I'm on a vape pen. Bruh said, I'm on ocean grown. What the fuck is ocean grown, bruh? Ah, cool. <laughs> Seaweed. <laughs> the fuck is that? I'll let you elaborate. <laughs> Nigga said, I'm on hippie sticks. Y'all niggas on a bunch of fufu right now. <laughs> the fuck is the hippie sticks? Nigga. Okay, wedding cake. There we go. There we go. Nigga said Sherbalato. Oh, I ain't heard of Sherbalato. That's dope. He said Dosey Do. Okay. That's what's up. I f- okay, get it going, man. Shit. Niggas. <laughs> I don't know what this shit is, man, but something on my screen that I don't need. Okay, boom. There you go. GG4. Okay. Gorilla Glue number four. I ain't mad at that. He said, sound like some outdoor ocean. <laughs> what that nigga shit was called? Ocean Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sound like some outdoor nigga. Ocean Grown. <laughs> this nigga seaweed. <laughs> Seashells, sand, and shit. Come on, bro. Gorilla Glue Berry, too. Ooh, that sounds crazy right there. Okay, Azato, man. Oh, at Gro- Ocean Grown. Okay, my bag, my G. I see you, nigga. I ain't mad at your weed grow. Your little weed plant. <laughs> I ain't mad, man. Everybody get high, man. You know what I mean? Period. I'm about to get up out this bitch, though. I'm going to stop holding up your time. Sid Committee ain't playing a roach blunt. I'm out of here weed till later. Hey, you better roll up your, your roaches, nigga. You ain't know that? I mean, you got some game, my nigga. Keep the ass trait, bro. Keep the doobie ass trait, bro. I call that the, uh, the what's it called? The doobie graveyard. Keep the doobie graveyard so when you can't contact the weed nigga at this time of night. You take about 10 of them fat ass doobies, bust them bitches down. I'm like, this is some SIBO. SIBO, I ain't never rolled no doobies in life until I got around SIBO. We was out of weed doing the thug lord shit. It was late. Four in the morning, we can't call nobody, but we got an ashtray full of big ass half of fucking fucking roaches. Sebo got to tear that shit off and busting it. Man, <laughs> got to gutting that bitch out. No ashes, just all weed and bust that bitch down. We had hella blunts. I'm like, okay, nigga, the doobie graveyard. So save the doobie graveyard, my brother. I'm give me our smoke game, my nigga. The doobie graveyard come in handy right now, nigga. When you can't call the weed, man. Have a big ass shit like this. <laughs> you see this shit? <laughs> you can... Bye-bye. I roll all that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a doobie graveyard, man. You know? That's like when a nigga need a motherfucker. got to knock in the motherfucker to hit the glass shit to get the motherfucker fire extinguished. <laughs> That's the weed fire sitting there. I gotta smoke some weed. <laughs> bust the glass open. <laughs> Grab the doobies and bust them down, nigga. Period, nigga. What? A dispensary. Oh, no, you can call Weed Maps, though. So, nigga, will deliver you right now. Not at two, though, nigga. Not at three in the morning, but yeah. To like one, you get some Weed Maps in your life. <sighs> On that note, I'm out this bitch. Good night. Subscribe to your guy. Go tune in the motherfucking Smoke a Lot Radio right now. We did a little soapbox network. I'm motherfucking Spotify, Apple Music, Radio.com, Radio Republic, uh, Stitcher, all the above, baby. We doing power moves and making it happen. And again, then look for the visual on Friday. We are gonna be Gucci, baby. And then uh, Spider Loke uh, interview coming on Monday, nigga. Shout out Spider Loke. You know and I mean, shout out the Black Box. Shout out the Wake and Bake, nigga. All of us can make money, nigga. You dig? Shout out Nipsey Hustle, mate. Nipsey Hustle Blue. Rest in peace. One mob. Subscribe to your guy. Bye bye now. Yada da.